Yeah, so I don't actually own the lightsaber. Sorry for the clickbait. But carry on watching. Hey guys, so first of all... Yeah, I did that. If you want to go and find out how I did that, then click right here. Uh, yeah. So, I'm really pleased with it. That's all I'm going to say on this video. Go and check it out if you want to. So we've finally seen Princess Leia with a lightsaber. And that has meant that everyone has been trying to make their own Princess Leia lightsabers. But obviously, Saber Forge have gone and done it themselves. And they have once again stunned us all. And it looks so good. I mean, I can't get enough of it. I would buy it if I could, but I can't, so I shan't. But if I could then I'd be holding it like this in front of the camera right now and like finally got one but I haven't so I won't that would be a really cheeky thumbnail so Saber Forge I mean at a first glance this is so screen accurate check out the bronze or kind of copperish tone that they've got to it it is so accurate and then the dimensions are perfect each engraving there's no extra screws where there shouldn't be it's perfect it's perfect just looking at it from every angle that they've given Big storms. on saber forge i cannot complain and even the plug i love the plug i love the plug it looks sick i haven't seen anything like that before on a replica lightsaber or even just any kind of custom lightsaber Yes, these pictures have been professionally done, but there's only so much a camera can do. These pictures of this lightsaber make it look insane. And, like, I'm just smiling looking at it. Obviously, the main thing that I can tell is different is the switch, because that's just not what the switch looks like. That is a classic, I want to say it's a classic Saber Forge switch, but it's just kind of, it's universal with all lightsabers in the real world. I love where they've put the actual charge point, which is just below the switch. Maybe they could have picked a better place, but I'm happy with it. Let's just go a little bit further down the lightsaber, and we have these screws. So, so far we've only looked at the Saber Forge lightsaber, and now I've brought your attention to these screws. I'm going to draw your attention to Disney's Star Wars Princess Leia lightsaber. Seriously, why are we only looking at the body? I hear you ask. Well, like I said, these screws, what have they done? Use the flat head. As if Ray's lightsaber wasn't already obvious enough. Hmm, I didn't know that they had crossheads in the galaxy far, far away. Your skills are disturbing. Now we have flat heads. Brilliant. I mean, like, come on guys, you had one job. If Saber Forge can do it, surely a billion dollar or billion pound company has the money set aside to pay for a couple of screws that won't match anything, or rather will match everything else from the Star Wars universe. That's no flat head. But again, looking at the rep, look at uh, the replica, looking at the real thing, you can see these marble strips that they've used through the body, and I love that. It looks so clean, and it's very Princess Leia. Obviously, by the time she became a Padawan and started using the lightsaber, even though we weren't shown much of it, after that, she became part of the Resistance and basically in charge. So they've used marble, which kind of hints at her being a princess, but at the same time, I don't know, is that how I'd have designed it? Maybe not. I love the colour of the general lightsaber because it's so rigid and it's not like, ooh, look at me. I'm a pretty princess. And again, they've used this kind of marvel. Marvel? Look. They have used a marble <gasps> colouring to the general lightsaber body and I love the way it looks but can we really see Princess Leia after Star Wars Empire Strikes Back and her father dying and finding out she had a long lost brother 
I mean, she was never really a kind of, dare I say it, girly girl in the first place, but after everything that had happened in just the original trilogy, would she have turned around and gone, it's of marble in my lightsaber? I mean, they probably wouldn't have called it marble, but that's marble. So yeah, rant over. It has literally everything from the D-ring right through to the emitter is, the color is perfect, the finish. I mean, yeah, they gave it a little bit more shine with Saber Forge than the kind of brushed silver finish on the original lightsaber, but that's just Saber Forge for you. You can't blame them for wanting everything to be kind of glitz and glam sometimes. As I've mentioned before, you are able to customize the lightsaber yourself if you want a slightly different finish, so what's the harm in them giving you a perfectly clean, shiny finish? I love it. it it looks so much more appealing as it's such a brilliant chrome finish, so nothing against them there. So the title of the video makes out that my main focus is the fact that Saber Forge has released a lightsaber, and it is the main focus, okay? I just like to compare to the screen accurate version, or rather the one used in the movie, which for some reason gets buried into sand. Moving on, I mentioned before about how the Switch is just the generic Saber Forge switch, which I have nothing against, but one of their pictures shows a raised switch, which looks a lot closer to Princess Leia's lightsaber. So, I'm a bit confused there. Only slightly, but I am confused. The overall design of Princess Leia's lightsaber is kind of perfect. If you don't know already, Jedi, as a sign of respect to their masters, when they were making their own lightsabers, they would design it with reference back to their master's lightsaber. I could have worded that better. Let me try again. When a Padawan makes their own lightsaber, they design it with their master's lightsaber in mind. So some parts of it will look very similar. Was that better? I really don't know. The point I'm trying to make is that the body looks similar to Darth Vader's or Anakin's, which I know that wasn't her master, but she learns that Anakin was her father. So having known about the lightsaber, it makes sense that her own lightsaber has some resemblance to the very first lightsaber that was ever shown on Star Wars. And then there's the emitter. You have this thin neck with that iconic ring with a couple of windows through the middle, if you can call them windows. I'm not sure. I'm calling them windows. but. That is very clearly representing Luke's lightsaber, which he made because he was actually her master. So yeah, Disney, you could have done better with a couple of things, but overall, the idea of it and everything else that I've already mentioned, I have nothing against. And Saber Forge, thank you so much for making this lightsaber. One day it will be in my hands and that day will be the same day that I am broke again. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was only a short one, but I wanted to share my thoughts and opinions with you guys. Feel free to share your thoughts and opinions in the comments below, or just get in touch with me. I love talking to you guys. As I've said on my Instagram, the Star Wars community is massive, and as if Star Wars itself isn't incredible enough, the Star Wars community just goes above and beyond, in my opinion. So thank you for that, thanks for being awesome, and if you can, please leave a like, and maybe subscribe. Okay, there's nothing left for me to say, so uh, bye!